the finish of the Dakar is the bomb. Between the two leaders before the final and insignificant 12 seconds. The standings for standard ATVs are also tight, the Lithuanian is still ahead, and the incredible Loeb won the stage again. Let's sum up the results of the penultimate 13th stage of Dakar. Participants of the Rally Marathon Dakar held the penultimate stage of the race. However, if you think that tomorrow's final will turn into a formality, then not at all. In at least two categories, nothing has been decided. Motorcycle Category Dakar The Decoration of the Current Race Every day we celebrate an incredible density of results, and it's great that this state of affairs will continue to the very end, providing us with the most intriguing finale. Simply amazing. The two leaders are separated by 12 seconds, and the third contender for victory is only one and a half minutes behind. At first it seemed that there were only two favorites left. Kevin Benevit has lost a lot of time on the special stage. However, as it turned out, the KTM rider stopped next to Matthias Waltner, who had been in an accident, and waited for the medics to arrive. When the organizers compensated Benavides for the lost time, it turned out that he was nothing less than the fastest. And now Kevin is only 12 seconds behind Toby Price. We don't even know what to compare such a meager handicap with. This is not even a minor navigational error, but some kind of small failure during acceleration, a slight hitch when overtaking a competitor in short, any nuance will now deprive the fate of the first place. At the same time, Skylar Howes should not be written off. If the two leaders cannot withstand the tension, then 91 seconds behind the Husqvarna representative will not become an obstacle to victory. And, by the way, it's great that Skylar is so close. It will definitely not allow KTM management to think about any team tactics to maintain two leading positions. Note that tomorrow the pilots will start in the reverse order of their position in the overall standings. That is, Howes will leave third from the end, and then Benavides and Price will go. In theory, Toby has the most advantageous position, but this is just a theory. Among quad bikers, Alexander Girid calmly overcame the penultimate stage and retained a huge advantage in the overall standings. The Frenchman was given a 15-minute fine the day before, but even with this punishment, two-thirds of an hour remain in reserve. Before the final, you can sleep peacefully. Incredible! Sebastian Loeb won his sixth consecutive victory at the special stage. However, the reason for such a series is clear. Some of the leaders left, and the rest have no reason to risk as much as the Frenchman. Lucas Morris, after losing second position to Loeb, focused on a quiet ride to the top three of the overall standings, and Nasser al spends the entire second half of the race in energy-saving mode. Well, everything is relative. Today the Qatari became the second, but lost five and a half minutes to Loeb. As for the legendary Frenchman, in fact the main question was this. Will Loeb keep up his own pace, will there be a mistake in the sand, will the car let him down? However, the rather short distances of the last special stages, obviously, are ideal for Sebastian, somewhat reminiscent of his native classic rally. In general, Loeb turned out to be the strongest again and is now ahead of Maurice by 14 minutes, already a solid margin before the final. The Russian crew of Denis Krotov and Konstantin Zhiltsov had an unsuccessful stage, showing the 38th time with a loss of almost an hour. Such a performance did not allow Krotov and Zhiltsov to compete for a return to the top 20 of the overall standings. The Russians remain 21st but are only four minutes behind their closest rivals. How so? It's simple. Brian Baragvinet, who occupied the seventh position, turned over and went down today, so everyone won back in one place, but Krotov did not lose him. 
In the prototype all-terrain vehicle class, Austin Jones follows the tactics of Alatia. Solid leadership allows the American to overcome special stages in a relatively calm mode. Today, Jones lost 13 minutes to Seth Quintero, but in the absolute, he still has a margin of 54 no problem. As for the winner of the day, Mitch Guthrie won the fifth victory at the current Dakar. Alas, for the overall standings, this does not matter. Due to the retirement on one of the days, the American rides in a separate standings for the Dakar experience. If in prototypes the leader can only deprive himself of the final victory, then among the owners of standard ATVs everything is much more interesting. Eric Gotchel and Rokas Bitsyushka showed the two best results of the day, but at the same time, the poll won four minutes from the Lithuanian in the overall standings, Bitsyushka had only three and a half left. The intrigue is the maximum. The Saudi-Russian crew of Yasser Satan and Alexei Kuzmich, pleased. After unstable previous special stages, they returned to the top three, even though they lost almost 10 minutes to Gotchel Jr. today. If on the eve of the intrigue in the cargo standings almost died, today the word almost can be completely eliminated. Martin van den Brink and his technique did not seem to withstand the intensity of the struggle. The Dutchman stopped for a long time on the track due to a breakdown and lost more than two hours. Fortunately for Martin, he still managed to fix the equipment and continue moving this allowed van den Brink to remain in the top three of the overall standings, but now behind Martin McGick. Even if the Dutchman had lost even more time or even retired, the surname Van den Brink from among the winners would still not have disappeared. The fourth place is occupied by Martin's son Mitchell. In general, the gaps in the general classification of trucks do not force us to wait with bated breath for the Dakar final. Janice Van Kasteren is ahead of McGick, he won the special stage today by more than an hour and the Czech himself has an even larger margin relative to the older Van den Brink. Well, the final is ahead. Another short special stage awaits us from El Hafif to Damam. 136 kilometers are provided, while the organizers honestly say that the stage will be simple. Quote, there is little to no room for major changes in the overall standings, competitors just need to get their vehicles to the finish line to join the celebrations on the podium by the sea. True, we assume that when compiling such a description, the Dakar press service still did not imagine that in one of the classes, the gap before the final would be only 12 seconds.